The Crave is a powerful thing. Copycat White Castle Sliders. Let's go! To this bowl, I have two pounds of lean ground beef. To that, I'm going to add one packet of onion soup mix. One tablespoon of peanut butter. Yep, that's right, peanut butter. Mix that together with your hands. Spray a cookie tray, cookie tray with some cooking spray. Add your beef to the cookie tray. Press your beef across the cookie sheet into a thin layer. You're going to want to flatten your beef out as much as possible. You want to get that into a nice square. If you think you've gone too thin, don't worry about that because this is going to shrink up. This is what your beef should look like. Hit that with some salt and pepper. Place your meat in a 350 degree oven for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes of cooking, I've taken my beef out. As you can see, it's shrunk around their edges. I'm going to take one white onion that's minced and spread that around the perimeter of the beef. Hit your onions with a little salt. Pepper. Back in the oven for 15 more minutes. After 15 minutes, scoop all your onions and put that all over your beef. Next, layer 12 slices of American cheese, I'm using Kraft, across your beef. Place back in the oven for about 7 minutes. Alright, I pulled this out after about 4 minutes instead of 7. Next, take the top of some slider buns and place those across the top. you got to do 12 in total. Back in the oven for five more minutes. All right, after five minutes, pull your sliders out. Use a pizza cutter and then slice across your sliders to cut them out. Then take the tops of your sliders, put those on the bottom of the sliders, and repeat. And there you go, my copycat White Castle sliders. These will go quick at a party, trust me. Let's get a bite. Mmm. Amazing, all that onion and melty cheese. And no, you don't taste the peanut butter. Please like, please share, and please follow.